The death and destruction caused by the war in Ukraine is all too clear to see. But what of its impact on the climate? From the making and firing of ammunition to fuel used by vehicles and changes in energy use in Europe. A new report by carbon accounting experts details how the war is deepening the climate crisis. The missions of conflicts and uh, military missions are often overlooked. Dutch carbon accounting expert Lena de Klerk led the team of researchers. With this re report, we want to uh, uh, have governments focusing on, on military missions as well. The report, titled Climate Damage Caused by Russia's War in Ukraine, found that the first year of the war will trigger a net increase of 120 million tonnes of greenhouse gases. That's equivalent to the annual output of a country such as Belgium. Here's the breakdown of different factors. Almost half of emissions are linked to the anticipated reconstruction of infrastructure damaged in the fighting. About 19% come from military activities, such as burning fuel in vehicles, making and firing ammunition, and the construction of concrete fortifications. The report also looks at how the Ukraine war is impacting emissions outside of the country. Think of gas leaks from the sabotaged Nord Stream pipeline, the rerouting of international flights and the movement of refugees. Uh, we didn't expect that uh, the emissions of a, of a war would be so significant. Um, and, it's, um, and it's not only the military, uh, the warfare itself that contributes to the emissions, but it's also the, the, the future reconstruction of the destroyed uh, infrastructure like buildings, hospitals and roads. Researchers acknowledge there has been a drop in Ukraine's domestic economic activity due to the conflict, but say emissions related to those activities have mainly shifted to other countries. And while emissions in Europe fell due to lower flows of Russian gas and higher energy costs, They've all been offset by increases in the use of oil, coal and liquefied natural gas. Ukraine's Ministry of Environmental Protection has said it's important to initiate discussions about the impact of conflicts on the climate. Carbon accounting is increasingly becoming the focus as countries assess progress against climate goals agreed in Paris in 2015. De Klerk says it's crucial military emissions were included. Definitely, um, there is a lot that, uh, that can be done to decarbonize the military. So there are already options of, uh, you know, biofuels, uh, for example, but also uh, partly uh, electrification of uh, certain elements of, uh, of, of the military. And I'm not claiming that I have the, the, all the technical solutions, um, but as the civilian society has already been working on this topic for um, uh, for uh, decades now, it's time for the military uh, to, to get their act together and start working on this as well. The US and Russia are dangerously close to an armed conflict. This year, 2023, New Delhi will be the capital of global diplomacy. For a country as diverse as ours, with 88% of the population illiterate, it was a very big deal to write a constitution, and that too, the world's largest. Meanwhile, if we may, here's a Republic Day gift from India for the BBC. A list of suggestions for the BBC for their upcoming documentaries. Number one. The Kohinoor and the Colonial Loot. Number two, an outdated monarchy and unhealthy obsession with the royals. Number three, racism in 2023. We're waiting.